Darkness never truly goes away, does it? Match game! Match game! Match game! What's your name? I'm a Kamen Rider! What's up everybody, it's the Quarter Guy, and welcome to the extra final episode of Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network 5, part of the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Now, as you recall, when I cleared the main story, I did it on Team Proto Man. But this time, I'm doing it on Team Colonel because, for one thing, there's a little extra... Shall we say, a little extra lore going on here that you'll find out. And second, I want to do it with Base Cross Mega Man. With the Silver Base Cross Mega Man specifically, because, uh, that's how it was finished off in the anime movie. Which, by the way, never got a dub. And also, I want to show you the conversation that goes on before the, uh, big battle. So, let's start with this cutscene here. Hmm, that chip on the second shelf of that chip case. Hey look, it's really a switch! Here goes! Lan, press the switch! <laughs> Clunk. Who was that sound? Oh! That's what his was! I bet Regal and my dad are in here somewhere. Ready for the final battle, Mega Man? We owe it to ourselves and the rest to defeat Regal. Roger. Let's go, Lan. Lan. And here's the team. Hey, guys! Lan, go crush Nebula! <laughs> the boy's becoming a man. Evil will fall! I believe in you! You can do it, huh? Let me have the first interview after you crush Nebula! Thanks, guys. This is it, Lan. Counting on you. Beryl. Guys. When my dad was first kidnapped, I intended to rescue him and crush Nebula myself. But I wouldn't have made it without you. I've gotten this far thanks to your help. Mega Man and I can't lose now. After all, I have you guys on my side. I'll take your spirit with me. Whoa, there's the rumble. Time's short. Okay. Mega Man, let's move. Gotcha. And with that, let's make some final preparations and head into this boosted final battle. So once again, Nebula Grey has appeared. It appears the same, but as you're about to find out, this is Nebula Grey Omega. Just like, just like Duo Omega, it has 4,000 HP. So. Uh-oh. Time Bomb! Oh. Alright. Gonna have to be careful with this one. Uh-oh. Alright, 
pop the invis. And now I can show off that uh, Giga Chip I have. Chaos Lord! Base emerges from the portal and... Boom! Now might also be a good time to use Sanctuary. And probably use this as, probably uh, just use this for the sake of, you know. Because I want to survive here. Actually, you know what? Number Soul. Uh-oh. Okay, first things first. Program Advance, Wild Bird. I'll use the Invis here. Wild Bird! Yeah, the reason I figured I'd switch back to regular Mega Man is so that I could use the super armor and not have to worry about the Mega Chips. Alright. And another thing about Nebula Gray that I didn't mention before is that Nebula Gray cannot be countered. Okay. Number Soul. All right. Base Anomaly. That actually does more total damage than the, uh... I mean, more total damage than the Chaos Lord ship. Unison. Night Chaos! Alright. Sanctuary! Okay, so... Alright, careful here. Oh crap! The risk here. Nah, crap! Okay, stay focused. Not 
gonna use it yet. Not until I've got an invis to use. No, not yet. Okay, I've got the perfect opportunity. Okay. Night Chaos! Okay, I'll use this next. Let me just check the map, actually. Yeah, no, I can use this. All right, base anomaly. Let's hope this doesn't go through invis. Number still is up. It didn't go through invis! Okay. Quite though. No. Goodbye. Everything I had. Got him! Finally! And now we go through the same thing, up to the point where Soul Server starts blowing up. And this is where I'll pick it up. Soul Server. And the world I dreamed of. It's all gone. It's over, Regal. Barrel! Hello, Regal. Barrel! Supreme Commander of Natopia's Network Corps? What are you doing? Certain someone asked me to destroy Soul Server. Seems like the job's already done. The annihilation of Nebula Gray is making the plant destruct. And the explosions are bringing the volcano to life. Soul Server will be inundated by lava in about ten minutes. 
so my grand plan has come to this. It's dangerous here. Get out as fast as you can. Yikes! The volcano's closer to erupting than I thought. Yeah! And there's everyone. Dad! Great work, Lan, Mega Man. Thanks. Now let's get out, quick! Lan, I'm sorry, but you go ahead. I promise I'll be right behind. What? No! As a scientist and as my dad's son, I must speak with Regal. Okay. But I better see you soon. Yes, I promise. Time short. Go! Roger! And everyone heads off. Regal! Hikari, did you come to laugh in my face? <laughs> well, have your fill. Your failed plan has opened my eyes to what Solnet is. It's hope passed to us from our fathers and in turn from us to the next generation. It's also a message telling us to build a world where people have strong souls that can conquer evil. <laughs> you stayed behind and risked your life just to say that. Fool, such a day will never come. My father, Dr. Wily, sold his soul to evil and tried to destroy the world. It's true Wily fell into evil ways, but he never tried to complete Soulnet and use it for evil. Who knows, maybe he still had hope for humankind. Bah, nothing but idle speculation. It may be speculation, but I'd like to believe in Wily. And in you, Regal. I want to pass that hope on to the next generation if we succeed. Who knows how long it will take. But as long as this hope survives, our father's wish should come true. It is our duty to convey the hope of our predecessors to the next generation. Come with me, Regal. Face judgment for what you have done. We must convey our father's hopes. Oh. Believe in me? He sacrificed himself just to tell me that. The tremors are getting closer together. The end is near. The next generation? If only I had realized sooner. No, what am I saying? I have shrouded my soul in evil. There's no going back now. It's not too late. F Father! Oh, here we go! Why? Why are you? Yup. Wily just showed up to fulfill my duty, both as a scientist and as your father. Solnet, restart! <laughs> yep. Even Wily thought Regal went too far. And Wily tried to destroy the world twice over. Three or... Well, three times if you count his role in Gospel. What are you doing? Solnet won't affect me. I have Magno Metal. Just who do you think designed Soul Server? Soul Server, overload! Ah! Uh, Ah! Now I'm going to send an impulse into your memory center. It will delete the last ten or so years of memories. You shall start over with a clean slate. Ah! I did not raise you right, but now you can make amends. Beryl, I leave the rest to you. 
All right. So not only was uh, Wily the certain someone that who asked Beryl to take out Soul Server, but I also suspect he was behind the warning to the, to the team regarding the microservers, and probably the one who told Lan about Chaos Unison. That's a speculation, though. Anyways... Three days after the battle with Regal, the eruption on Mount Belenus destroyed the dark ship factory without a trace. I thought Dad had been lost with it, but he had actually been rescued and taken to a hospital. Bye, Beryl. He's now recovering at home. Of course, Dad and I said together, we're home to Mom. Mom freaked out when she saw Dad all covered in bruises, but she was so happy to see him. Especially now that he was home all day. I'm happy too, of course. The ceremony for disbanding Team Colonel is today. My dad and I came together. Now let's see what Team Colonel's parting words are. Good job defeating Nebula, people. Nebula's no more, and we're recovering the dark ships. Team Colonel's work is complete. Hey, Beryl, what exactly happened to Regal? I'm not sure. But I do know that Nebula's leader, Re Dr. Regal, no longer walks this earth. He was a fiend, but I can't help feeling sorry for him! Heh. <laughs> Before I retire our team, let's hear a few words from Dr. Hikari. If you would, Doctor. The world's been saved thanks to you. Well done, everyone. On a separate note, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you the new scientist hired by Scilab. Who can it be, huh? I'm kinda nervous. It's like meeting a new classmate. Introducing... And this is where Regal enters. Uh, but Beryl? Didn't you just say that Regal no longer walked this Earth? But I said Nebula's leader first. That must mean... Skylab's newest addition is Dr. Regal. Hello, everyone. I am Regal. The past ten or so years of his memory are gone, but he still retains his skills. He's beginning a new life as a law-abiding scientist. You sure about this? Heh. <laughs> Regal's turned over a new leaf. I see. Then everything's okay. Team Colonel is now officially retired. I feel a bit sad for some reason, but I sure have the time of my life! I'll return home with fond memories! Guess it's back to real life. We'll probably meet again as opponents. <laughs> we never did, though. Now I can proudly return home! I'm gonna tell Raul about how I, how I fought alongside real heroes! So yeah, Dingo's in the same tribe as Raul, apparently. This battle has made me feel like a real man, huh? I'm gonna do it, huh? Ms. Marika, wait for me, huh? Too bad there's no camera here. The Nebula battle might make me a famous reporter. It's straight to, st it's straight to start him for me. Oh, Rabita. And thus, our team disbanded and its members returned to their daily lives. Each one had a unique spirit and was fun to be with. I'm a bit sad to see them go. No, I shouldn't be sad. After all... What's wrong, Lan? You look sad. I'm not sad. After all, we're always interlinked. Heh, <laughs> you're right. Well, I should get going, too. My work's done here. Beryl. Who are you, anyway? Nobody special. Just Beryl. Sore wa dokena? Are you sure about that? Well, well, you'll find out what I mean by that as we get into Battle Network 6. In case you haven't seen it already. Beryl! 
Will we meet again? We can meet anytime. After all, we're all interlinked, right? Yep! And Lan's friends are back! Hey guys! Lan, you're a rough and tough hero! I just knew you could do it! Welcome back, Lan! I love to see smiles on kids' faces. Let's build a future where all kids can smile like that. Yes, for that is our life's work. Huh? Is vacation over already? It is now that Nebula's threat is gone! It's back to class for us elementary school kids! Really? I didn't have any time to play! Well, you were kind of busy saving the world. Again? Hey, let's go on the net! I found this place called a Vision Burst! Man, who'd have thought you just saved the world? That's Lan for ya! Hey Lan, I need a vacation too! <laughs> Don't be a party pooper! We haven't played with Gutsman in a long time, have we? Yeah, but... Right? Well then, what are we waiting for? Jack in! Mega Man! Execute! And thus... We bring all of Mega Man Battle Network 5 to a close. Well, this is definitely a lot better than Battle Network 4, like I said. The post-game was definitely more challenging. I mean... We had three, three more liberation missions. All of them honestly tougher than the uh, than the, the main game, obviously, mainly because of the more powerful viruses and the beta versions of the Darkloids. Not to mention, Base Double X was oh boy, and Nebula Gray was definitely tougher overall than, uh, than Duo Omega. I mean, Nebula Grey Omega was tougher than Duo Omega. Took me a total of 13 attempts to take down Nebula Grey Omega. Some of them were due to misplays on the execution, honestly. Probably would have done a lot sooner if I didn't mess up a few times. But yeah, there was a lot more there was a lot more to this post-game than in Battle Network 4. Thankfully so, mind you. I also do think it's a nice touch that, uh, the form of King Chaos in Nebula Area 6 depends on your busting time for the DS nappies. That being said, this is not the definitive version of Battle Network 5. That would be Double Team DS, which included Soul Cross Mega Man as a bonus with, uh, hooking in the Boktai games. Interactions with the other Battle Network games. Ability to swap, uh... Navvies between versions. And adding... Adding... Navvy... Navvy visual data to a party, so to speak. And being able to switch between them during battles. So yeah. If you want to play Battle Network 5, my personal recommendation is to see if you can find Double Team DS. Anyways... That is neither here nor there. So... That's five games down, and one more to go. Next time, we will begin the final chapter with the beginning of Mega Man Battle Network 6. So, look forward to that. I'm the Quarter Guy, and until next time, the arcade is closed. Mega Man Battle Network 5 Team Colonel finished. You totally earned that. Hey everyone, QG here. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share the video around. 
Feel free to check out my Twitter and my Twitch streams, and consider supporting me through Patreon and donating to my Extra Life campaign to support Children's Wisconsin. Thanks for watching.